You know, as a child, I grew up believing I could leave a lasting impact in this country. When I was in college, I had this crazy idea that I would run for vice president of the student body. I was a shy kid growing up, but somehow I decided I was just going to do it. So I started making posters, came up with a campaign slogan, and declared my candidacy. What kept me going was seeing that my decision to run was a source of empowerment to others around me. And for two whole months, I knocked on doors and organized campus-wide rallies to start sharing my ideas to improve campus life. When there were moments when I started to doubt myself, the students around me came out in droves to support what I stood for. And, you know, in the end, I lost. But it was that experience that taught me that it's better to take action than not. And it gave me a passion to be a voice for the Asian Pacific American community. And I'm very aware that the reason why I'm able to chase my dreams and pursue my passions is because of the APA pioneers who have come before us. Despite the setbacks that these pioneers faced, their contributions to society have changed the course of history. Let me tell you about some of my APA heroes. In the late 1800s, it was very difficult for Asians to legally emigrate to the United States. However, in 1884, Philip Jason was able to come to the U.S. as a student. In 1890, he became the first Korean American he naturalized as a citizen of the United States and went on to earn his credentials to become a doctor. He was the first Korean-born U.S. civil servant and he founded the first Korean language newspaper in America. Next, let me tell you about a man named Dalip Singh Son. He came to the United States in 1920 when it was actually illegal for Asians to naturalize as citizens of the United States. And so he decided to do something about it. He started advocating for the civil rights of all people, not just Asian Pacific Americans. His actions motivated others, ultimately repealing the Asiatic Barred Zone Act, allowing him and other Asian immigrants to naturalize as U.S. citizens. In just 10 years of becoming a citizen, he was elected to the U.S. Congress and was the first Asian American to serve in the House of Representatives. And then we've got the rock star, An Wang, the father of random access memory. An came to the U.S. in 1945 from China and earned his advanced degrees in applied physics and nonlinear mechanics. He became a leader in word processing technology. Dr. Wang developed components and systems for digital computing machines, and he was granted over 35 patents, and this was way before Microsoft or Apple. Wang's contribution to magnetic core memory, commonly known as RAM, has led the way to allow us to have the technology that we have today. And now we come to my favorite history maker, Patsy Mink. She was the first Asian American woman elected to Congress, representing the people of Hawaii. Patsy was the key author of the Title IX Amendment of the Higher Education Act, now known as the Patsy Mink Equal Opportunity in Education Act. This public law prohibits anyone from being excluded from participating in any educational activity or program based on their gender. It's because of her vision that we now have girls and women's sports teams in our schools today. In 1972, Patsy became the first Asian American to run for president on an anti-war platform. Though she didn't win, she's remembered today for her work advocating for women's rights, equal rights, and reform in education and healthcare. So why are these APA leaders so important? Today, we stand on the shoulders of these trailblazers. Each of their contributions have given us tremendous opportunities, and their courageous sacrifices should not be forgotten. They pioneered the way for our generation, and now it's our turn to do the same for the next generation. So here's the question for all of you. What legacy will you leave?